Howdy y'all, welcome to episode 6 of my Let's Play series, I'm Regaris, we're on the BYJ Craft server. Uh, we've done some updates, uh, where shall we start, where shall we start? Uh, there's a couple things I want to go over. Um, hmm. Well, first of all, let's go over and take a look at the Villager Mart, uh, what we finished up the last time. Um, I finished it out, and uh, we got two librarians out of those last two guys, which is nice. So uh, we have a lot of paper. But we got an Efficiency 3 book on this guy. I don't think the other one's as good. Depth Strider, eh, you know, not bad. And Luck of the Sea, so... You know, a couple good books there. Uh, if you like fishing, that Luck of the Sea is really nice. Uh, it means uh, Depth Strider 2 on this guy, and uh, Protection 4, which is really good, and Projectile Protection, which is, yeah, yeah. I'd rather have Protection 4 than uh, that. But So we've got, uh, what, three librarians now? Don't we have another one over here? Yeah, we got another one over here, and he's got uh, Fortune 3, which is okay. And um, Infinity One, which is cool. I need to put that on a bow. Projectile protection also sucks, but he's got name tags. And uh, say name tags are cool. And is this the leather worker or this is a fisherman? He's got a crappy uh, fishing pole. We have a leather. Oh, here we go. Leather worker, and uh, he's nice because of the saddle. So uh, you know, little villager mart here's got everything for everybody. Now, I did leave a little sign up here for everybody else. Uh, you know, a lot of folks are using this, and they're coming over here and just, you know, getting the, the flesh trades or whatever, and they don't reset it. So, uh, you know, when anybody else comes over here, they have to use their emeralds to reset it so they can use their flesh trades. So I am asking everybody to kind of, you know, <laughs> reset those trades, man, because I don't want to come over here and spend my emeralds uh, to reset them. Uh, twice you know what i mean uh did surround it with uh uh cactus <coughs> excuse me to uh, kind of keep the uh zomberts away because they will swarm this place at night so yeah the little villager mart is is going along pretty good now i haven't had time to uh produce any more villages i think ninja man is producing his own villagers now because uh, I kind of told him I was done with this area I didn't want to add any more in there I don't want to be this to be some huge massive uh, area for, for villagers uh, but I, I think I saw him grabbing up some so he may be doing his own uh, maybe we'll go over there and check but uh, one thing that is working now is our uh, passive mob spawner see that big thing out there uh, up until like yesterday the thing just would not spawn mobs at all ever um i shut off the zombie spawner uh that's under my base over there and uh it seems to uh, work oh, really well now as long as nobody else is on the server as long as nobody else is on uh the drops are tremendous uh if anybody else is on I probably built this too close to uh, spawn. I probably really should have built this out, you know, like a thousand blocks away or something like that. Um, but I didn't. I, uh, I, I mean, I won't lie. It's like pretty much the first time I've ever done uh, a server where, you know, there's other people on. But I do notice that if there anyone is in the spawn village... I really don't get any spawns, uh, just because they're going to pull a lot more area being on the ground. Uh, now when we're up here, we're, we're at build height. Um, the, the roof of this thing is at the build limit. You can't, you cannot place a block higher than, than that roof on this thing. And we, yeah, you can see how long it's taking us to get up here. I mean, we're not even halfway, I don't think. Um, but eventually I'll probably try to link another portal to this so we can just, you know, zone up here without having to climb this um, in fact i may even try that today i don't know um but this thing works really good I, I do this on like every single if you if you watch my modded series this is the exact same design exact you can see they're already dropping so it it's only two levels um pretty much an eight by eight platform there are half slabs up on each one in a pattern to keep spiders from spawning now i do have on 
the end of each of these water um, pipes an area that spiders can spawn on both levels. So you do get some spiders spawning in here, but it's not as bad as if if um, I had not put those half slabs in there to keep them from spawning. So right now we're uh, not bad. There's 30 some odd mobs up there. Um, uh, the highest I've seen it is about 60 at any given time. And uh, that's of course when nobody's on. If, if there's anybody on, um, you're not going to get it. So now what this line of torches is for, um, again, this is exactly like I, I use in all my worlds and even in my modded world, uh, this comes in very, very handy. Um, this little switch or this button right here will activate a dispenser up there, which will put basically a, a water break at 21 blocks from the hoppers right here. So as soon as they pass that water, it resets their fall height. So they're falling 21 blocks, and uh, it's enough to kill normal mobs, but you'll, like the witches don't die. Um, armored, uh, some armored stuff doesn't die right away. Some armored, not all of it, Just it just depends on uh, which level they're falling from. If they fall from the top level, they die. If they fall from the bottom level... Well, no, that doesn't make sense either. I don't know why. Uh, see, that was a spider right there that just died. You heard him hit. Um, this spawns everything. The only thing I'm kind of surprised about is it is spawning Endermen. I know they're up there. Um, usually what you will get with this is the Endermen. This is the first time I really did not build this over water water within their teleportation range um even though they shouldn't be teleporting over 32 blocks and the only place they should be teleporting is here so you should be getting endermen uh on this platform but i'm not so uh, i'm guessing they're able to teleport all the way to the ground uh, how did you live did you use the reg oh you got a helmet on oh, okay must be a special helmet i guess it's enchanted armor that they live I don't know, but it will build up pretty fast. Um, if you sit up here through a day and a night, you'll you'll have several stacks of uh, you'll get more arrows than anything. And so, if you have an infinity bow, uh, those are kind of a waste uh, since you can't recycle them now. In a modded world, you could always you know melt this, uh, not melt it. Um, use like a uncrafting table, or you know, depends on there. There may be items that you can use these for and even in this world oh darn little spider he didn't die come on down here where'd you go come on down here yeah i'm gonna have to get rid of those spiders areas up there i thought that would be a good idea but uh probably not so much because now they're gonna clog up now the reason that i put these doors in here these little uh, uh trap doors and you'll notice they're on this block and and not down here level with the um uh, hoppers come on quit hopping around and the reason i do that is one is spiders and two is baby zombies um baby zombies can't get through here just because of this little lip um they're too tall if you put it on this block on the top of this block uh if they don't die those little suckers i got knocked off the edge because <laughs> i came up here and was actually yeah, i hadn't set any of this stuff up yet and i was uh doing this <laughs> going oh my god it's spawning and all of a sudden i see uh it just slowly getting further and further away from me and i was trying to uh get back to the ladder or hit the water uh area down below and just missed it just missed it i mean i was like a block away uh, so that's why you do this right here um you do kind of have to open it to get in and get the ones in the back and um uh, i can almost bet you money I'm going to tell you right now, I'll bet you money somebody on the server blows this thing up when uh, they set this to uh, to experience mode. So, like, you know, you click this right now, nothing's going to die when it falls down. So it's just going to, every mob that comes down there now is going to survive. Uh, you know, they're easy to kill, but, you know, you're getting creepers in there. And if you don't, there you go, got him. If you're not really careful with what you're doing, 
um, the creepers will explode in there. So you, even though they can't see you, when you step in here to get him now, they can. So even though they're one hit, since they're never armored, when you get a bunch in here, because what I'll normally do is just let them build up, um, you know, just keep it on. And when I get about 50 or 60 in there, then I'll just start killing them. And you'll know when it's starting to fill up because they'll, you'll get little, you'll get like four separate little groups uh, in the corners. You know, they'll just start kind of standing on top of each other. See what I mean? See the little baby zombie right there? Now, if I open this, he can get out. So that's why you put this here, so you can AFK and not worry about the uh, spiders or the uh, little baby zombies getting out there and getting you and knocking you off the edge, little jerks. So it's going to, I can, like I was saying, I can almost bet someone's going to blow this up because they're going to get too close and uh, and blow these guys up. Um, you know, if you guys from the server, if you're watching this, I'm telling you, be really, really careful when you're. When, they, when they're all grouped up in the back like that... Ow, what the hell's hit me? Oh, must have a light level too low. I thought I got rid of all the nines around here. Yeah, they shouldn't be. Uh, what just happened there is if you kill a zombie, uh, they can call a friend if the light level... Within 16 blocks, if it's a light level of 9 or lower, I think, is what someone... I think it was Edge that told me that. So I'm not really sure where that guy just spawned. Huh, that's weird. Maybe he spawned back over there. I didn't see him. But, like I was saying, guys, if, if you're going to be killing in something like this, make sure you stay back. Um, don't get up underneath there where they can see you. And if you have to pull these out in the front, the easiest way to do that is to rush in, and they'll kind of come out. See how you hurt him just kind of you know real quick you got to back off of them so they don't see you anymore um, because of this lip because if not they they will blow they will blow up and uh, all this right here will be gone um, now normally on modded I turn off mob griefing uh, and in single player and I, I do it in single player more for I really really hate Enderman um, I could just show you the damage that they've caused on the, in, on this server to the landscaping. Uh, hate them. That, they should just give them an invisible block to, to carry, not actually have it destroy uh, the uh, the landscaping. Because, I mean, it's it really gets bad after a while. I mean, it looks like a, um, I don't know, war zone or something. Let me kill the rest of these all off here. back up um, if you're really good with this um, you can get records out of here pretty easily um, I find the easiest way to do that is to kind of put a half slab uh, drop it down like right here so you're far that far enough away that the skeletons can see you and will shoot at you and if there's any creepers in front of them, then of course you'll pick up their records. It's a really good way to, to oh man, we're, we're overflowing with stuff, yeah. Let me uh, get rid of that. Get rid of that, get rid of that. Probably get rid of some of this stuff. Now I did put a little uh, lava pool up here so I can get rid of uh, armor and stuff that I don't want. Um, you know, we are at the level now where, you know, we're rocking full diamond. Uh, I did get a looting sword. It is the absolute worst looting sword in the world. Look at that. Knock back to Bane of Anthropods. Not only does this knock them back, it launches them into, you know, like four chunks away. It is ridiculous. Um, I hate this sword, but it's the only looting sword I've got, and uh, it does help. You know, looting, looting helps. Uh, when you have stuff up here you don't want, you can just, you know, toss it right into the lava. Get rid of it. I got plenty of carrots and potatoes, so I'm not gonna waste inventory space with that stuff. Don't need sugar. Um, you just throw it away so you can get it out of your chest here. Um, I don't have this massive, you know, inventory system for this, because I imagine multiple people are gonna use it. So what I do is I just collect and then uh, clean this out after I'm done up here. And 
it's working pretty darn good. It's definitely quicker than the zombie spawner. The zombie spawner takes forever. Um, maybe because of the design I had, I don't know. But it just uh, really took a long time to build up to like 50 mobs. I mean, I can get 50 in here in just a couple of minutes, whereas uh, it takes oh three, four times as long to do that at the zombie spawner. But I did make some changes on it. I don't know if I'm going to reactivate it or not. Uh, just because this works so nice. The only downside to this is if there is other people on, you are not going to come over here and get a lot of experience. Was there a spider back up there again? Can't see. Um, that's the only downside. Yeah, there was. He died, though. So let's get our spider eyes out of here. That'll go into our potion room. Might as well take some bottles. Well, I might as well take the glowstone. We got plenty of redstone down there. Arrows we don't really need. We'll take the iron. And uh, let's go ahead and snag the full stacks of. Well, I'll leave the flesh there. Well, let's grab the bones. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and head on down. I'm going to cut, and when we come back, because uh, it, it takes a while to get down. <laughs> <laughs> it takes as long to get down as it does get up, and I am not the kind of guy that jumps off the uh, the ladder. It scares the crap out of me. Uh, even virtual heights bother me. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna cut. We're gonna come back, and we're gonna go take a look at uh, our new uh, not automated farming, but I don't know what you would call. It. I guess automated harvester. No. Well, you'll see what I'm talking about. Be back in just a second. All right, we're back at the base. We're going to go down and take a look uh, at, uh, I guess they call it an auto farm. Um, it's a pretty simple design. It uh, doesn't take much other than like some comparators and some repeaters, a uh, little redstone. Um, let me put some stuff away. Oh, I should have put that in the, uh, should have put that up in the enchanting room. Eh, I'll do that later. Um, Let's drop our bones off and our gunpowder. We're not going to have to worry about gunpowder stuff for a while, for sure. Um, but over here is uh, my little auto farm. Let me go grab some seeds. Uh, in fact, we'll do taters. Let's grab a tater, and because uh, these you know, I can trade with the farmer. And uh, what I can do with this is, this is set up, it's already tilled behind there, I don't know if you can see it, there's a water block directly behind this uh, uh, tilled dirt block. So you just come over here and you, you know, you plant whatever you want to grow. Now these are filled with blown, uh, blown, blown meal. It's a new thing, it's called blown meal, it's special. Um, Fill with bone meal, and uh, it takes three squirts of the bone meal, basically, to get uh, this thing to grow. So there's three of them. So when you click this, it's going to activate a comparator clock back there, which is just going to make it fire. And uh, it's pretty much instant grow. So you're just going to, uh, you know, harvest, click the harvest, click the plant. Um, real easy redstone if we go back in here. Uh, it's pretty much filled in, but you've got three repeaters. Let me see how I'll clear this all out. It don't matter. I can fill that back in. This is the uh, comparator clock right here. Uh, the redstone comes from the uh, lever, which then comes down here. The repeater is right here, just so it doesn't interact with this redstone. Don't. I mean, depends where your switch is. You may not need this. What's important is just your comparator clock. Um, you're going to have your comparator in that state right there. And when you flip that switch, it's going to just keep firing and firing and firing. Okay. And it's going to come over here and go to these repeaters. Um, again, you probably don't have to set it up in this way. I just do it. So, you know, it, it's, uh, it just works. <laughs> I, I, I can't explain it. Um, again, I'm not your greatest redstone guy. Uh, so let's fill this back in. Close that up. And then what you're going to do is just turn this lever on and you don't, it's going to grow it like right away, but you don't worry. It's not using uh, bone meal right now because it's already grown. So 
even though it's firing it is not if there's nothing in there it's not going to uh, to use your bone meal so you're just going to harvest it and then plant it harvest plant harvest plant so you just like left and right mouse and you can just sit here and collect them up and this will work with just about everything I think this even works with you know I don't know 1.8 I have not tried to bone meal uh, what you call it, uh, nether root, nether wart, um, in 1.8, so I don't know if it works, but it, it would do the same thing, even with nether wart, uh, you know, I haven't tried it with sugar cane either, but you can just see, I mean, I'm just kind of sitting here, I'm not even doing it really fast, and it's, uh, you know, it harvests it pretty well, and when you're done, you can just turn it off, um, doesn't use too much bone meal you know it's just three every time you do it uh, you know if you've got the if you've got a skeleton spawner or you've got that passive mob spawner uh, like we were just at then you have plenty of bone meal to do something like that and you know all those big farms that I have up there now I could just do it a lot quicker um, to get a stack like that just so much faster than than waiting for it so it's a kind of on-demand sort of thing now. So if you, you know, you need uh, wheat or it's not going to work with melons, unfortunately. But I'm going to guess I'm going to give it a shot. Actually, I'm going to try it out with sugar cane. Maybe we'll check that out next episode. See if I can get an automatic or uh, not automatic, but instant sugar cane farm. I don't know if that'll work. Uh, and then, like I said, I mean, if you need any of these crops. Uh, the carrots, potatoes, and wheat for sure, you know, you can instantly just grow them and harvest them and have them ready to go for you if you need them for, you know, villager trades or you're just about to starve to death. Either way, um, it's a very quick process. It doesn't take a lot of resources uh, to make, and it's real simple to use. I'm sure there's, um, I, you know, I've seen a lot of other ones out there where the, um, you know the ground moves and everything uh, where this like lowers up and down um, I don't know how that would work with the water on this one or not but th this one's good enough for me I mean like I said it's just uh, you know you you're gonna left click to harvest and then right click to plant and it's just click 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 and you've got a stack of stuff so it's uh, pretty cool it works for me um, I am asking of course I my base seems very popular for uh, people to come over and use stuff so uh <laughs> just want to make sure they replace any bone meal that they use uh don't want to be supplying the world bone meal uh even though i'm hopefully just don't even need to worry about it anymore but um as long as that spawner's working but while we're on let's go take a little real quick look at uh, the kind of the change i made to our zombie spawner since i was kind of talking about that and before i just had a um i guess two by two hole at the uh, bottom of the pit and that's where the zombies were going because I don't I didn't want to do a one just a one deep hole just because it would kind of um, uh, bunch them up if there's like more than one or two spawning in there uh, so what I did now is I just did a trench uh, the water kind of pushes them towards the trench and then once they're down the trench uh, you know it's too deep for them to get back up so they're just going to be pushed along and over um, before it went down like two or three in a square and then kind of pushed them into this corner. I don't know if that was holding it up a little bit or not, but hopefully this will lurk, work a little bit better. This is kind of what I use on uh, my skeleton spawner on my single player world, and that, that thing works great. Uh, it just doesn't give me the problems that this zombie spawner does. I don't know if it's the new zombie AI or what, but uh, this thing, they kind of jam up in that tube. Uh, I know part of the problem was at the bottom there were uh, baby zombies that would not get pulled up into the chute because uh, this thing flows down, turns a corner, and they get about right here and, uh, you know, there's just a water elevator up. And baby zombies were getting, like, stuck at the bottom, so I added a cactus at the very back and that kills the baby zombies. Um, if they now you do get chicken jockeys though chicken jockeys seem to go right up but uh, just the baby zombies do not but uh, now with that cactus it kills them and uh, kind of clears that jam because the uh, the bigger zombies were getting stuck on them so 
that's not an issue anymore. Hopefully that I'll probably give it a, a, a couple of dry runs today. See how the, uh, that new trench helps out. See if it improves that any. Um, well, that's it, guys. Um, you know, new zombie spot or not new passive mob spawner should uh, help out with uh, bone meal, gunpowder, uh, shoot, enchanted bows, armor, redstone, glowstone. I mean, you name it, the thing is going to start dropping it. Um, spider eyes, bottles. You know, it's nice to have witches in there. Getting actually getting quite a few. You know, not like a witch spawner or anything, but we're getting quite a few. So the passive mod spawner, glad that works. I uh, finished it up last night uh, for a long time. It just wasn't finished because I wasn't getting any spawns. Not entirely sure why it's working all of a sudden, but uh, super, super great spawns when nobody's on. Um, really kind of lame if somebody else is on. If they're, If it's nighttime and they're anywhere in the village, you can forget about it. You might as well just get down from there and go do something else because... Uh, you're not going to get anything. Um, so that's really nice. And then, of course, now we've got our uh, uh, automatic farm down there. So if we need, uh, even though we're not hurting, I mean, it just took a long time. Normally, I would have done that a lot earlier. But, um, you know, we just don't have a good, we did not have a good source of bones or anything. So everything that I've got right now, believe it or not, all this stuff right now is just from these farms from uh replanting these farms uh just every time i run through here if i see it needs to be harvested i uh, harvest it and collect it up um and it's just from manual labor strictly manual labor no no uh automation no block update detectors nothing it's just i see it needs to be harvested i harvest it put it away um so we, we actually have quite a bit. All of this can be used pretty much to trade with villagers. Um, of course, he takes full melons, not not the uh, melon slices, but you know you can you can make these into the melon blocks. Uh, we've got plenty of seeds if we need to update. Um, still have some beef. We have the looting sword now. I hate this thing. No, I think I said that. Um, that will actually launch cows out of the harvest pen. I'm not kidding you. It will knock them from the harvest pen into my tree farm. <laughs> I hate this freaking sword. Knockback is... They really need to add a way in vanilla Minecraft to remove enchants. I would really love to remove Bane of our Anthropod... Anth whatever. The spider kicker. And uh, knockback. I would really love to remove those and just have the unbreaking and the looting and add a you know, a sharpness or shit, even smite would be better than that. Um, but unfortunately not. So guys, that is the episode. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks for coming by. Um, server plays a little different, um, different mechanics as far as trying to figure out what works and what doesn't, um, you know, what's the, the best way to do things. So, you know, we're learning a little bit. That's why the episodes are a little bit slow. Um, of course, we're getting it all figured out, and, uh, you know, the server itself is starting to build out. If you guys have any questions, comments, please make sure you put them down in there. The more comments I get, the, the, the better I feel. It just lets me know you guys are watching and, uh, you know, are interacting with the, uh, the series. Um, we do have another portal. It has not been activated yet. We have not been to the nether yet. Um, someone said that there is a... Uh, uh, ocean dungeon somewhere that they, someone's found. Um, I have not, other than, than that, I haven't seen it or anything yet. I'd like to go check that out also um, in future episodes. But that's it for today. Again, okay, that's it. I mean it this time. That's it. Uh, don't forget to hit the like button if you like the episode. Uh, please put a comment in there. You can really help me out by sharing this on Reddit or uh, whatever the, what other sites you visit. And uh, for those of you that have not subscribed, that really is the best way to know when I do put out a video because currently I do not have a set schedule. So, guys, I appreciate you coming by. And until next time, I will see y'all later. Hey, guys, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Or put a like on there. 
if you look down below here is uh, uh, another video that uh, is part of my stuff or something I find interesting go ahead and give that a click give it a look again subscribe comment share great for me great for you